are new here welcome and don't forget to subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you and don't forget to like this video so in today's video I'll be talking about tips on saving money in Japan I am the worst person to be giving tips on saving money I really don't know how to save but I have been asked a few times about tips so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a video on tips that I think that if I use I would be able to <laughs> save money all right so my first tip is shop at hundred yen stores some things you can get at the 100 yen store so you can get those things for a hundred yen plus tax which is probably a hundred and eight or a hundred and ten yen so some of those things uh, are in other stores or supermarkets for a little more so it's best sometimes to get to find out the things that are cheaper in dollar store and buy them at dollar store for instance the bleach is a little bit more expensive at the supermarket that I go to so I buy it at the dollar store because it's the same bleach or the garbage bag is a little bit more expensive so I buy it at the dollar store it's the same garbage bag so try to shop at 100 yen stores uh, such as can do Syria Watts and uh, Daiso I have done a video on Daiso so you can always check that out and if you want me to do a video on Syria, Watts, and uh, can do, I'll just combine all three and do one video. You can comment down below. Okay, so my next tip is shop at discount supermarkets. So I have noticed that some supermarkets are way more expensive than others. I go to big a that's a discount supermarket near me it's a lot cheaper than the other supermarkets that i go to some of the things that you can get there you can't get at big a. So i still have to go to those supermarkets but i would recommend shopping at discount supermarkets to save money so if you go in the evening to supermarkets usually things that are perishable such as vegetables and um freshly prepared meals in the evening you usually can get them at a discounted rate because they don't want to put out those things again tomorrow so if you go to supermarkets in the evening rather than in the early morning I think you can get things such as vegetables or ready-made meals cheaper so that's my next tip my third tip is shop at second-hand shop so I'm a little bit picky with things that I would buy at secondhand shops. However, I think that if you're trying to furnish an apartment here in Japan, it's best to check out secondhand shops. Um, they have everything. And if you want me to do a tour on a secondhand shop, I can do that as well. I think I have some footage in my phone. If I uh, find it, I'll insert it here or here that I took when I was in a secondhand shop. But I think that if if I found out about secondhand shops earlier I wouldn't have bought most of my things I wouldn't have bought my things new because uh, when you go to secondhand shops or things that are there most of them are like in good condition furniture wise so if you are trying to furnish an apartment I would suggest check second-hand shops and I didn't really have to buy much when I got here because my apartment was already partially furnished well everything that I needed was actually here but um, I did get this on Amazon and that shelf as I mentioned before the tables and so forth came and the TV also came with the apartment but if I was furnishing a house like some people do because some people move out of the Leo Palace apartments because they're so small after a year some people move and if you're trying to furnish anywhere it's best to check secondhand shops because they have lots of furniture and I would and appliances I would buy I would definitely buy a TV in secondhand shop because they have good TV <laughs> well based on what I've seen the TVs look 
okay <laughs> um for like five thousand yen that's really 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 cheap i've seen washing machines for like ten thousand yen eight thousand yen yeah so you can always check secondhand shops for furniture or appliances next tip has to do once more with furnishing so if you're trying to furnish an apartment i recently learned about uh craigslist japan because some of my friends are living in japan and they are giving away things they don't want to keep things that they bought so what they do is they list it as zero yen on craigslist so I think that if you're trying to furnish somewhere, you can always check uh, Craigslist Japan. Persons who are leaving Japan usually just put their things there for free. All you have to do is go ahead and arrange pick up. If I decide to move from this little apartment and get a bigger place, uh, I would definitely check secondhand stores I mentioned earlier for furniture and Craigslist Japan because trust me, my friends and some of my colleagues are giving away some really new things or some really good things things that haven't really been used much on Craigslist um, Japan because they've been here just a year and they bought stuff and they're leaving so yeah you can always check Craigslist Japan furniture and so forth okay so my next tip is to eat local food I can't take this tip because there are a lot of things that I really don't eat but if you don't mind eating um, pork and shrimp and seafood because Japan's cuisine has a lot of pork so if you don't mind eating those things you won't have a problem with this so I think that if you eat locally you'll be able to save more right I have noticed that in Restaurants or so for it like local restaurants. The food is like really really cheap like 400 yen 500 yen But it's usually pork or something else that I don't eat so I can't take this tip But I think that's a good tip I'm trying to save money in Japan. You should try to eat locally and Unlike me who buys a lot of Western food local tends to be a lot cheaper So I think that that is a tip if you want to save more money try to eat local food here in Japan my next tip is to make a budget and stick with it right stick with that budget I'm trying to convince myself guys <laughs> stick with, I do not know how to do this I think that if you're able to follow the budget and say hey this is for saving this is for this this is for that you'll be able to save rather than impulse buying like I do I'm very impulsive when it comes to spending money I'll just see some ooh, shiny pretty kawaii and I want it so <laughs> I'm very impulsive and it's very very hard for me to stick with my budget but I think that if you're able to stick with your budget you'll be able to save money here in Japan next tip is point cards there are lots of point card systems here in Japan and I think you can just sign up in your supermarket and every time you make a purchase you get points which you can use at another time every almost everywhere I go um, they ask you have a point card a point card a point card so I think that's a way to get back or save money um, try to get a point card even on Amazon they have a point system sometimes it's like one you buy something and you get back like you get one percent in points so yeah point system there's a lot of point system here in Japan and I think a way to save money is to take advantage of those point systems my next tip for saving money is try to go out less yeah I know it's sad you're in a foreign country you want to see everything you want to go everywhere yeah but try to limit it like try to limit it as much as possible or if you're gonna go out try to do it with friends and get group packages or group discounts yeah if you're gonna go partying every week or go go to an amusement park that costs 5,000 to 10,000 yen um, each week you're not gonna be able to save a lot I know we're in a foreign country want to see everything but if you're here to save a lot of money you you'll have to limit the amount of time you go out so, 
that's another tip for me. My next tip is try to get a second job. If, if that it is that your main goal for moving to Japan or your main reason for moving to Japan is just to save money or to make money, I think it's best to get like a second job or a tutoring job or something that can that you can use um, to help with your expenses. Get a second job and that will help you to save a lot more each month. So that's the end of this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Oh my gosh, it's happening again. Guys, I have been having tr I don't know if it's a lack of communication, but I've been having a lot of problem speaking like I cannot find my words I don't know if it's the lack of speaking to other English speakers I find myself in the middle of a sentence not knowing what to say next like what 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 do I say next it's becoming frustrating like and I think it's because I'm teaching English I th I'm thinking about every single word that I say and I'm trying to think, hey, is this grammatically correct or whatnot? What if it's not right? So I've been having, yeah, I know this is supposed to be the end of the video, but I've been having a lot of problems with speaking. I cannot find my words and it's getting frustrated. See? It's getting, it's getting frustrating. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so that's it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.